Food, food, food. Malaysians eat a lot of food, but we waste a lot as well. In our previous episode, we showcased how food banks can help solve the food waste problem. Retailers, manufacturers, food outlets and hotels contribute the most to these food banks. The government is trying to rope in big companies such as KFC, McDonald's and Nestle. Are you eligible for the food bank program? Well, if you are in the B40 group and are in the eKase database, then you are. For B40 students, you are not neglected either. There's the food bank Siswa. The student food banks at uh, public units needs dry food such as instant noodles, biscuits, and those three-in-one drinks that help you stay awake at night to study. The food bank also needs fruits, vegetables, and bread. So what's next for food banks? Well, to transport all that food, the government approved three million ringgit budget to buy 14 trucks equipped with chillers. Also, the government is drafting a new law to protect donors. Under this Good Samaritan law, it's the government and not the donor who will be responsible if there's anything wrong with the food. There's also a cool new technology. Let's listen to Minister Saifuddin Nasution about it. The latest one is we have identified uh, one of the latest technology which uh, we find out very interesting. When we collect the food from the hotel kitchen, we will pack you know, with a special packaging and then we use the retort technologies. We are doing our pilot project now with the light hotel in Penang. Food like sambal ayam, ayam panggang, and ayam perci. Those are the food from the five-star hotels. But this is still in the trial and error. In the new future, we can actually supply the cooked food uh, and safe to eat. Uh, this is the added value in, in our uh, food bank program. Currently, Tesco is donating bakery products, fruits and vegetables to Kachara and Food Aid Foundation. We don't do canned foods at the moment, but maybe we will revise that as we go along the process. Actually, for all our stores, the surpluses are donated daily. So, for all our 58 stores, we've got the schedule for that on a daily basis. Actually, it's quite different, difficult to determine what is surplus on that day. So as to answer your question, it is different from day to day. But roughly, we donate about 25 kilos per store every day. In seasonal items, right, seasonal festive, or Hari Raya, or maybe Chinese New Year, you may get more. You may get more uh, fresh products coming through the store. So you can see some increase in um, the amount of quantities that we donate up. It's really quite simple. First and foremost, our colleagues in the store are trained to actually look at the product uh, um, display date. So for items that are bakery or uh, vegetables, we will remove it from the shelves uh, one or two days before the display dates. And then they will put it aside, weigh them, and then uh, to, uh, the next day or the, uh, on the very day, we'll have that items donated to our food bank partners. So as you can see, uh, everybody is ready now. So we have our clients waiting now. Our volunteers are busy checking the names of the people, amount of people turning up today. So what happens is we have like a list of 300 recipients and they are on a rotation basis. And these are the families that we have actually went and checked. 